Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's KV Mechele against Wolfsburg. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the starting lineup for Wolfsburg. Well, the way they're set up, it's vital that they don't let the opposition switch the play. They must lock them down one side of the pitch, but they should have an advantage in midfield. And they kick off here. Lost possession. Biker. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Well, he's a tremendously gifted footballer. Everyone would give him that. Max Kruse we're talking about here. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. They couldn't maintain possession. Kruse. Maximilian Arnold has it. John Brooks. Mecha. Well, they know they need to stop him. comes to absolutely nothing Schofs well, not the greatest pass easily intercepted Maxence Lacroix on the ball Schlager Good vision, can he get onto this? Mecha. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover, splendid save. And over it comes. Well, not cleared away completely. And I think the threat has been averted. Mrabti. Rob Schofs. Now moving the ball impressively here. Kevin Mrabti. Can he put it in? And still a chance. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Cruiser. 
Baku. On the ball, Schlager. Arnold. Promising attack, this. Roussillon. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And what a magical save it was! And a short corner, let's see. And Kruse sends it back. And a close offside decision as they were threatening. Kevin Mrabti. On the ball, Heidemans. Mrabti. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Oh, showing excellent vision. Biker. Kevin Mrabti. It might be on for them. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Hey. Now sending it in. And cleared away. It's opening up for them. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting, Stuart. Well, I wouldn't say he's pulled up any trees today. He just hasn't affected the game. He's looked slightly off the pace, both with and without the ball. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Untidy in possession. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Now well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Kerry Mrabti. Storm. Schofs. Could be dangerous. Walsh. Or can they prize them open now? He must finish! And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, 
Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Arnold. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. On the offensive. Arnold. Lucas Mecha. And Philip. Well, visionary passing. And up for grabs off the keeper. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Maximilian Philipp. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Stefan, the cutback. And there it is. The deadlock has been broken. We wondered if a goal would arrive. Well, now it has. And will there be a response now? Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? advantage with them referee says play on scores can they get in behind them and he's won the ball and the counter looks on here options available Stefan but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Kerry Mrabti and a bad pass it was. Baku. And it's Maximilian Philip. Mecha. Superb block. Well, almost at full time. And this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get thoughts as always. Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Mecha. And Philip. Arnold. This could finish it! Oh, splendid save. And it gives them some hope here. Not long left, though. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, the short corner routine. Good use of advantage by the referee. It's opening up for them. And it's Maximilian Philip. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. Can he open the door to a potential goal? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, Max Kruse certainly caught the eye, as he has a tendency to do. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, I thought he was key to their win. He worked hard, he showed great skill, and he made the goal. He was outstanding today.